From early in the coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan, China has faced criticism of its handling of the pandemic, particularly, as we've seen this week, from the US. Now, China's diplomats are fighting back with a new and aggressive campaign to take on the critics. Our diplomatic correspondent James Landale reports. They are popular, violent and nationalist. And now China's wolf warrior action films have given their name to a new form of aggressive diplomacy as the country takes on critics over the way it's handled COVID-19. China's wolf warrior diplomats may wear suits instead of uniforms, but their words are weapons. This spokesman suggested that it was the United States that might have brought coronavirus to Wuhan. Across social media, other diplomats have launched a barrage of hostile tweets. One accused President Trump of being full of racism. Another said critics need to be injected with disinfectant to stop them spreading lies and hatred. All this is new. The German Marshall Fund think tank says the number of official Chinese Twitter accounts has increased by 300% in the last year. In the past, China's public face has meant to show the, a positive image of the country. Frankly, cute panda videos would be much, much more common than uh, harsh uh, takedowns of various government responses. It's dangerous. It's only a flu. Some of the Chinese pushback has been less aggressive, such as this cartoon by state media. But there is a backlash. The ambassador in France is one of seven Chinese envoys summoned by their hosts in recent weeks to be hauled over the coals. The risk for Beijing is that all this robust, aggressive diplomacy that's coming out of its embassies around the world begins to harden attitudes in the West, with some countries becoming more distrustful and less willing to engage with China. Conservative MPs have set up a new lobby group to scrutinise China more closely. The ruling uh, state apparatus uh, is so paranoid at the moment about maintaining control uh, that they feel that they have to project force. But Trump rolled over for the Chinese. And in the US, China is now firmly an election issue with both candidates talking tough. They're not bad folks, both. The fear is that post-COVID cooperation to repair the world economy is getting harder by the minute. In the films, China's wolf warriors always prevail. The outcome of the diplomatic battle has yet to be decided. James Landell, BBC News.